But uh, they got these two guys, Robert Young and Alan Shepard, on there. And there was a third uh, guy that passed. A bit of my past. Uh, Bob McAllister. <laughs> not even... Not even mentioned in the papers. In, in the papers, Bob McAllister. You might remember from Wonderama. If you're anywhere in the age bracket, from I don't know, what between thirty and forty, maybe. Mm, maybe yeah, maybe even a little younger. That whole thing, maybe a little younger, maybe a little older. You'll remember Bob McAllister as being uh, the host of of Wonderama, little kid show. Huh, little little Bob McAllister for you. This is from uh, kids and uh, people too. Oh. Yeah. Come on, this will bring you right back. <laughs> right? I guess. Problems of our own. Din -it, din -it. Kids are people too. Come on, sing. Whack a do, whack a do. Don't be sad. I don't feel like singing. Oh, we do our best to do our thing just like the rest. Ban -it, ban -it. Kids are people too. Come on. Yes, they are. That's right. Bob McAllister. He's dead now. Can you shut off your computer? Why? That's. A uh, haunting, a haunting song. Very haunting. Well, there's a little web page that I, I found that has uh, some info on Wonderama. Okay. A guy went to Wonderama. Three tapings of Wonderama. It used to be on uh, 205 East 62nd Street, right in Manhattan. And it was on the old Channel 5, which was WNEW. It was. You were Metro right about Media that, yes, Television. Right. Okay. The tapings, get this, the uh, kids would arrive midweek at about 9 o'clock in the morning. And, uh... <laughs> The tapings would go for about 10 hours. 10 hours? 10 hours. How many shows did they tape? One. It, it took 10 hours for one taping? 10 hours, one taping. You go to a Rosie taping and it takes 61 minutes. Doesn't matter. For an hour show. I know. <sighs> I guess keeping these kids in line. Oh, wow. Okay. They didn't supply lunch. All right. No lunch. Only snacks. Right. During each break, McAllister would step away from the kids. My guess is that he, a few of them got on his nerves <laughs> and smoke like a chimney. <laughs> <laughs> I remember once or twice he snapped at some kid who was being annoying. Other than doing his bit for the camera, he never seemed to be interested in the kids at all. Maybe it might have been the pressure of uh, an eight or ten hour long taping. Wow. Remember the big basement that yeah. they used to have the disco in? Of course. It was the same studio. All they did was aim the cameras in the other direction and pull out the four dancing platforms and uh, put some color lighting on it. Oh. You're and wrecking it. You're wrecking my childhood. I'm, I'm I sorry. believed all this. At the end of the show, the kids would get, uh, you know, junk like silly putty, lenders bagels, good humor ice cream, and gross hot dogs. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and uh, it, it, the kids said not many kids actually walked away with prizes, huh. only a couple. And then they'd have to usher the kids off because the 10 o'clock news set had to be set up in the same studio. <laughs> wow. And they'd drive off. But, um, yeah, little memories from Wonderama. I remember when I had Three Dog Night played. I remember watching Three Dog Night. And I always thought it was it was so odd to see a rock band in there with the front row of kids, like three, four-year-olds sometimes, looking like they had to do the... They were doing the pee-pee dance. Yeah. It's like dancing around. And it's like, Jeremiah was a boop. And then like a little kid would come up and grab onto the bass player's leg and like dance, do a little kid pee-pee dance, dance. It was just... I would be like... See, Get my agent on the phone. <laughs> right. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with a ball peen hammer right over the head. <laughs> it's like I used to be somebody. I used to be somebody, and now I'm playing on one drum. <laughs> Take you out with a little. No, little no, more. no, no more. No hey, more. No, no, come on no, now. Come on, come, it off. There it is. Oh, man. Da, 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 da. Bob McAllister, dead. Sing it, kids! Our peace! Sing it, open, damn it! Because you were talking about Wonderama, see all these yeah. lines? Every single one of these people have a memory of Wonderama. A Wonderama story. Well, Bob McAllister, the host, is uh, dead at 63 years old. You might, might remember him from the 70s, his show Wonderama, right here in New York on Metro Media Television Channel 5. Right. Turn your head like that again. That's really cool. Oh, gee. <laughs> Sorry. It's like Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, Bob McAllister's dead. <laughs> no, he's trying to... Cut it out! What are you... You're, you're chasing away our listener. 
<laughs> Stop it. Sorry about that. Okay, the Mets have won. There you go. We were right. just stalling. Well, you want to go to the phones and talk to someone that has some Wonderama memories? Yeah, a little Wonderama memory. Eddie W. How you doing? Good. Good. Are you? This is the DJs? Yeah. This is the DJs. DJs. What, what can we do for <laughs> you today? <laughs> we're the Lackeridgeous DJs. <laughs> oh, oh. I was on Do you one. want to give a shout out to someone? To How, about How about a long distance? All right, all right, already. <laughs> oh, oh, let me tell you, we're the wacky DJ. <laughs> okay. All right, what can we do for you? <laughs> I wanted to um, share with you that I was on Wonderama. You were on Wonderama? Yeah. Oh. Isn't that awesome? Dream come true. What happened? I have to say that I was very disillusioned by Bob McAllister. Why? He was a jerk. Was he? Yeah. I, I did, actually he try got... to, did he take you in the back and try to work you like a puppet? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, two things. One is I got to, uh, I, I was sitting like right in the front. So I like tapped him. I wanted to talk to him about something. Yeah. And he goes, don't touch, don't touch. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. That was his line. That was his pickup line. You know, kids are people, too. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was full of it. Wackadoo, wackadoo, wackadoo. I got, I actually oh, got, to, I got to play a game. You got to play a game? What yeah, did you play? Pass it on. Pass it on. How did yeah. that work? It's like a uh, telephone, you know, where one kid, they tell them a riddle, and then they have to pass it on to the next one. Oh, right. And it would, it would end up uh, totally different by the yeah. time it got Yeah, and I was actually the last little kid. And um, at the end, he would always pick them up, you know? Yeah. And say, hey, you know, good for you, whatever. Did he pick you up? Yeah, he picked me up. And then he was all, you know, put on his good guy act. <laughs> he was all nice. <laughs> Oh, the so you guy's dead. So you saw right through him when you were really young. Yeah. I was that's... like, you're full of it. I was like, give me a good toy. <laughs> but all they gave me was a spirograph. Yeah. Now I'm going to be Mr. Fingerheimen. <laughs> 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 what was his name? Mr. Finkelheimer? Yeah, it was Dr. Finkelheimer. I'm, I'm going to be Dr. Fingerheimen. <laughs> Come here. What could do? What could do? <laughs> You know that game where you have to eat the crackers and whistle? We're going to play, but we're not going to use crackers. <laughs> what can do? What can do? <laughs> My Lord. And I got to eat good humor ice cream. Yeah. Very good. Well, thank you for yeah. the memory of Wonderama. Sure. <laughs> Has anybody here got an aardvark? Has anybody here got an aardvark? Let me pull out my front pockets and my pants, and I'll show you the aardvark. Come here. Come here. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna feed you this carouse hot dog. <laughs>